There are about three different routes of the Trans-Siberian Railroad. Um, the one I took to, went started in Beijing and um, ended up in Moscow, going through Mongolia. Um, the first day is traveling through China, and you go along, you see part of the Great Wall, um, and before it sort of snakes away into the distance. And then you about you go through a very deserty part of China, um, where they have massive problems with drought and everything. But then the last check post is Erlian border before you enter Mongolia. And um, at this point in the journey, you've had like passport control and immigration, everything like that, um, and checking for contrabands in the carriages. It's it's quite exciting. This all happens about around midnight, and then they change the bogies on the track, which are the undercarriage wheels. And because the train track in Mongolia and Russia is set a different width than it is in China, so they what they do they pick up the whole train, they disconnect each carriage, and you're in a big sort of um, hangar, and they pick up each carriage. And plunk you back on to another set of bogies, which is what they're called, and um, all ready for the the wider width train track. This takes about six hours and a lot of hauling about and strange, eerie noises at night. Anyway, so back in Erlian, and um, we pull away out of China, which is quite sad for me because I'd been there for quite a long time, and um, I'll never forget the um, to see. A load of policemen lined up at the railway station, um, all very solemnly standing there with um, old Mao-type communist music blaring in the background as the train pulled off into no man's land and um, through the China gates. It was just so, it's like out of a film, it was quite atmospheric. And then pulling about... An hour, um, about an hour through Mongolia and through No Man's Land, we um, saw the Genghis Khan type fortress gate, um, and that's where we had to go through immigration again, and checking for contrabands. And it all is a, it's like a theatre. It's, it's quite funny to watch. This big babushka lady steps on and checks everything, and then um, going through Mongolia was just. Um, plain deserts, endless it was we actually crossed part of the Gobi and it's quite um yeah, it's just just endless, endless expanse of land. And then um again you go through border control and you get to the border of Russia. And then from there it's six days going through birch trees all the way to Moscow. And you hope you've got a good company, not like I I was on my own sharing a cabin with three drunken Russians eating kippers all day. Um, kind, kind of a funny experience. Got to be down, down to earth to, to get on with that. 